the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that, with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast, even now, to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin is so grave, 
that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. While Abraham's visitors walked on farther towards Sodom, the Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were 50 innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the 50 innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find 50 innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again. See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than 50 innocent people? Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only 40 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of the 40. Then Abraham said, let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only 30 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but 30 there. Still Abraham went on. Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than 20? The Lord answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the twenty. But he still persisted. Please, let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least ten there? He replied, For the sake of those ten, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk against amid distress, you preserve me. Against the anger of my enemies, you raise your hand. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead, in transgressions and the in uncircumcision of your flesh, 
he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stand. received a spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, give us this each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asked for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asked for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to, how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Yung umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning, Father. Sino po sa inyo nakapanood ng Clarita? Clarita. Very good. Annabelle. Tingnan niyo po yung katabi, kumukhang Annabelle. Yung manika sa conjuring. Yung horror. You know, laging pinag-uusapan yung exorcism kung saan hindi nakukuha yung mga na-exorcise, yung mga na poposes sa simpleng prayer lamang sa isang araw, isang oras na prayer, it's a continuous prayer. When I assisted the Office of Exorcism sa Diocese of Paranaque, hindi po nakuha ng isang wisik ng holy water. It endures for about eight months bago nawala yung possessed na spirit. Even personally, in my own parish in Levittown Better Living, kung saan po ako nakasign, is... Mi nasa ni iba na bata, 14 years old, babae, pagkatapos buhat-buhat ng walong lalaki, bodybuilder pa. Tapos noon is 
ah, dasal ka dyan, alas 8.30 ng gabi, until 12 midnight, hindi nawawala. Pero biglang nawala ng 12 midnight kasi nagpapalit ng anyo. Ayan. Pagkatapos niyan, sumunod pa yun the other day, bumalik uli yung, yung spirits. Alam ko po yung pangalan. Alam niyo po ko ng pangalan? Pag sinabi ko sa inyo, susundan kayo. Okay lang. Ayaw niyo po. Sige. So, hindi ko na po sabihin. The following, it was Monday, Holy Monday yon 2015. And pagating ng Wednesday, bumalik uli, kinabukasan Holy Thursday. So, ganun eksena pa rin. Sumisigaw, we were two priests praying for her. Usually, tatlong pari yan sa exorcism. Bakit po? May isang pari, yung exorcist talaga, nakakast out ng demons or yung elementals. May isang pari nagpipray doon sa soul ng sinaniban. At isang pare nagpe-pray sa kanilang tatlo para protected sila, shielded. Prayer. Meron akong dalawa itong dalang brother, dalawang Filipino brother, kaka-brother lang po nila. At sa Tuesday or Wednesday, they'll be going sa Rome kung saan po ako rin nag-aral. And they will stay there for about eight years more, five years, eight years. Kung matalino sila, mag-aaral pa ng masteral. Kung sobrang talino, may doctorate pa. So, five years sa Philippines, plus eight years sa Rome, mga 13 years bago magpare. May I ask, can you answer one of you, is, um, ilang beses nagdasal sa seminaryo? Sa isang araw, ordinary day, ilang beses kayo nagdadasal sa seminary, sa multinational? In our seminary po, uh, Sons of Holy Mary Immaculate, Father Joseph Prasenetti Seminary, we try to follow literally in our uh, best efforts To, follow, uh, to practice what the Bible phrase says, like, um, from the rising to the setting of the sun, may the name of the Lord be praised. So, from early as 5.45, we have to wake up. 6.15. So, 5.00. Uh, yes, 6.15, morning prayer. Followed by Mass. And then, uh, school, pagbalik namin, angelus, grace before and after meals. And then, in the afternoon, mid-afternoon prayer, followed by rosary. And before ang um, evening prayer, may adoration, followed by evening prayer. And then, uh, bago, after kumain ng gabi, after ng short study period, meron kami tinatawag na night prayer, o yung compline. And then, uh, we end up our day having our personal dialogue with Jesus in front of the tabernacle. That is how we pray po in the seminary. Salamat po. Kaya huwag kayo mag-aasawa ng brother o ng pare. Magdadasal lang kayo buong araw. May nagtatanong sa akin mga estudyante, Father, pet, joke po ito, Pat, pwede ba ang pare sa madre, wag po, maawa naman po kayo. Hindi yung pare, taka madre, pag nagkatuluyan, ay magdadasal lang kami buong araw, mag-oorasyon lang po. Tingnan nyo sila, sampung beses nagdarasal sa isang araw. Pakitignan nyo po yung katabi nyo nga po. Pakitanong, how many times you pray a day? Sige po, kabilang. Sabi po ng isa, Father, paano magkaroon ng isang successful na boyfriend tsaka girlfriend? Magkakaroon ko ng isang successful na boyfriend, girlfriend, o asawa, husband or wife, kapag yan madasalim. Yung nga hindi nagdadasal, may problema na. Yung pake hindi madasalim. So maghanap ka ng isang asawa, ng isang boyfriend, girlfriend na madasalim. Wag lang yung pari tsaka brother. konti na lang kami endangered species. Pagkatapos po niya, um, is kapag nakahanap ka ng isang taong madasalin, magpa-follow lahat. Like, isang taong madasalin is a peaceful person. Hindi yan magagalitin. Kasi madasalin yan eh. Always in communion with God. Hayar, ang sarap noon makakita ng isang lalaki, isang babae, na madasalin, always may peace of mind at heart. Secondly, kapag peaceful yan na tao, for sure, loving person yan. Lovable person yan. At kapag yan ay lovable person, It follows na yan is my forgiving heart. Madalis, mabilis, magpatawad yan. At ito pinakamaganda. Kapag yan ay madasalin, yan ay generous, mapagbigay. Bakit? Humingi siya kay Lord, binibigyan siya ni Lord, dahil natanggap niya yung biyayan ni Lord, madali siyang magbigay. Pakikalabit po yung katabi, pakisabi magbigay ka na. After this. Yan. Kasi po yun ang ang, ang sistema na isang taong para dasalin. Brother and sister, the gospel today is about the gospel of Luke. He's speaking about the persistence to pray. 
persistence in our prayer. Ang alam niyo po, nung ako ay nasa seminary po, ang plagi tinatanong sa amin ng aming spiritual director is, how is your prayer life? Kamusta ng buhay, panalangin mo po. May tatlo kong trivia. You know that in the Mass, kung bakit po tayo upo tayo luhod, upo tayo ta, luhod, napapansin niyo po yan. Because our body is praying also. Is in the mood of praising God. Ang upo tayo luhod, yung, yung body at yung mind, soul, yung spirit connected with our body is nagpe-praise kay God. Nung nasa Italy po ako, nakita ko yung mga uh, Jew, even sa Holy Land, yung mga Hudyo, na kapag po sila nagdadasal, nakatalokbong yung kanilang ulo, laki, tapos yumuyugyug po sila, gumaganon sila. Miski sa wailing wall nila, napapansin gumaganon ng buong katawan nila. Sabi ko, para naman ito may sinasaniba, parang manikang sinasaniba. Bakit po? Kasi yung kanilang katawan, nagpipraise din kay God. Kaya po sa Misa, we encourage you po na gumalaw-galaw ng konti. Opo, gagalaw-galaw ng konti. Yung pagkanta ng ating choir is a praise and worship to God. Yung ating pag-response, even po yung the peace of the Lord be always with you and with your spirit. May mga Catholics po na hindi ko lang kung stiff neck. Kailangan niya ito ng massage ng konti, relax. Yun po, paggalaw is a sign of giving praise and worship to God. Second trivia, you know po, ate kuya, na kapag po kayo nagsisimba, nawawala ang venial sin only, not the mortal sin. When Once we say, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, and when the priest say, and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life, Amen. Nawawala po, yun yung prayer of absolution sa venial sin. Meaning to say, sa Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, all the sins, venial sins specifically, yan ang nawawala. Sa nakuha ng Catholic Church yan, ng ating ceremonias, nakuha yan sa Roman Empire. That every time your Roman Emperor lalabas ng kanyang palas kasama sa kabayo at chariots niya at soldiers niya, lalakad sa karsada, lahat ng mga nag-aabang ng mga may hirap, pulube, ng lilimos, Sasabi nila, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. Mapapalingon ng emperor, kukuha ng konting barya sa kanyang pouch, iahagi sa kanila. Ibig sabihin niyo po, nasa mass, we ask already God to forgive our sins. Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Meaning to say, sa, mis, sa mismong misa, kayo po, ako, tayong lahat ay pulube sa kanyang harapan, begging for His mercy. And this is a sort of prayer. Last, trivia. Yung pong pagsasabi po ng Amen is already a prayer. It's a Hebrew word meaning I affirm, I confirm, yes, I approve. Kaya may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pakitignan po yung katabi. Pakisabi, Amen. Amen. Ma'am niya, ibibili ka na niya. Yan, po yan. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. So, second part ng Gospel is, so first part kasi the Our Father. Sa so, second part, napaaganda yung sinabi ng Gospel and I conclude from this. Sabi ng Gospel, Knock and you shall receive. Ask and you shall find, and the door will be open unto you. Napaagandang message yan today, Sunday. Katok mo lang kay Lord, ibibigay yan. Yes, not now, because God has a better plan for you. Not now, pero ibibigay niya. You know, hindi ko po alam kung na-share ko to sa misang ito, uh, siguro last, last month, sa misa ng 2 o'clock dito po, may kumatok po sa bintana po ng aking kotse, Uh, galing ako ng seminary, pabalik po ng parish. Sabi nung babaeng kumatok, Father, Father, kilala po kita. Sabi ko, paano niyo po ako nakilala? Since 1998, nang pumasok ka sa seminary, naordain po ako 2010, sabi niya, sabi ko, paano niyo po ako nakilala? Kasi nung seminarista ka pa po, eh, ang cute-cute mo. Ay, ganun po ba? Sabi niyo, eh, ngayon po, 
pwede pa, Father. Sabi ng gano'n. E ano po, kailangan po nila, tita. Siguro si tita, mga nasa 80 plus. Kasi po, wala po akong pambayad ng kuryente. Ay, gano'n ho ba? Ang mukha ho ba akong meralko? Sabi kong gano'n. Sabi niya, hindi, Father, sinasabi ko lang po sa inyo. Baka pwede mo kong bigyan ng pambayad ng kuryente. Magkano po ba bill nyo? Ang mga 900 po. Hindi ko po alam na napabunot na po ako ng money. Not to magnify myself. Napabunot ng money. Biglang dukot sa pera, sabay bigay. Sige po, itago niyo na to. Hindi ko alam, ang laman lang pala na aking wallet is 1,120 pesos. I thought, ang binigay ko 100. Naibigay ko pala yung 1,000. Sabi ko, bahala na si Lord, God bless her kung good intention niya. When I come back in the parish in the afternoon, sabi po sa akin ng isang secretary, Father, Father, may good news. Sabi ko, ano po good news? Meron ka po rito yung check eh for your parish, Mary Immaculate Parish, for you, para sa parokya, para sa project mo sa mga youth. Ano yung check eh? Didepositin nyo, sabi niya, binigyan nyo yung official receipt and you deposit the, the donation. Opo, Father, you, hindi mo ba itatanong kung magkano? Sabi ko, o oh, sige, magkano? 100,000! Sabi ko, oh my Lord, nagbigay lang ko ng 1,000 sa Meralco, 100,000 na. Next month, kung may gusto na magbayad ng Meralco, bigyan ko ng 1,000, 1,000, para baka maggalaw ng isang milyon. Knock and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. And the door will be open unto you. Seek, seek, lig, lig, umaapaw. Ang isa taong madasalin ay isang taong pala bigay, pala bati at isang taong totoong marunong magmahal. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Please stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord Jesus asks us to pray with confidence to the Father in a special way. We pray for our needs, the needs of our community and of the church. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons may radiate in their life and service the Father's love and care for His children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our government leaders see themselves not as masters lording it over the people, but as guardians entrusted with the welfare of all, especially the poor and the weak, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are discouraged by the pains of their trials and sickness may not close their hearts, but learn to grow through their suffering, for the Father in heaven is with them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who do not believe in God or know Him as Father may come to acknowledge the Lord as the one true God and Father of us all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children. Help us to grow in love for one another and become perfect witness of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. To pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours should be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember, church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, just our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all you have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
Brothers and sisters, now that we have received Jesus in our hearts and in our lives, may I invite all of you to stand as we pray and as we continue to worship through prayer, through communion, through reflection. Here we are, Lord, just asking you to bless us, Lord, and to teach us how to pray like you, Jesus. We know, Lord, that in the Garden of Gethsemane, and before the day that you died, you prayed yourself. And now we want to be like you, Jesus. We want to live how you live. We want to love how you love, Jesus. Teach us how to pray, Jesus. And we pray now for the Holy Spirit to come into us, Lord, so that your will will be done in our lives. Lord, alam namin na marami na kami pinagdaanan. There are so much problems and struggles and fears. But we know, Lord, that there is so much more to come. There are so much great things, so much blessings, and so much more love and grace coming from you for the rest of our lives. So now, brothers and sisters, as we sing this song, just realize and acknowledge all of the blessings, all of the love, and, and just ask God how to pray. Because surely there is more to come. Surely there is more to come. As we sing. And God, how great you are. God, how great you are. 
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all selling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue AM family, we would like to thank Reverend Father People for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Would like to ask an appeal from you if you could also pray for our brothers. Nandito po si Brother Rosilito Ayo from Sorsogon and from Brother Ruel Magina from Cagayan de Oro City. Sila ay nine na brothers who finished their study, their bachelor here in the Philippines. And then they will be going to Rome sa so July 31 sa so university ko saan din po ka nag-aral. And hoping that they can survive the temperature ng Rome at of course, Enjoy eating pizza and pasta. Tumabasa na kayo doon. And at the same time, hoping and praying that you will be, become one day a priest, celebrating also the Mass here at the feast. Yun lang. Uh, praying for your vocation, for your studies. Sana pagbalik nyo, single pa rin kayo. Salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God, bless you the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God.
invite you to please all stand up. Who among you here wants to have a foretaste of heaven here on this earth? Foretaste, yung makaranas ka lang para ka nasa langit ngayon. Can I see a raise of hands? Everybody wants that. Amen? Kaya pakisabi mo po sa katabi mo, B J T S T maging B J T S T ka. Pakisabi po B J T S T. Ano pong ibig ko sabihin? Be Jesus to someone today. Amen. Kaya po pagka naging katulad tayo ni Jesus in words and deeds, I'm sure that we'll experience and have a foretaste of heaven here on this earth. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together right now. Yes. Well. Woo!
is everyone this week? Great. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give a clap offering to the Lord. It just deserves it. So there was two years ago, actually every, even before two years ago, it has always been my dream to attend a Hillsong concert here in the country because it, it takes too much. It's very, very expensive to go to the Hillsong conference in Australia. So I really to an opportunity to attend a Hillsong concert here in the country. And I was just so blessed to be able to go there two years ago after so much years of waiting. And what was nice is I wasn't really supposed to go uh, until the last minute wherein my aunt just suddenly texted me and texted my mom also that there are there is only one more ticket left on the standing area in front near the stage. And at that time, I was in awe. Galing talaga ni Lord, no? Talagang, He just really gives you your dreams at the very perfect moment even though you don't realize it. Ang galing. And so that day came. And when that day came, I was really excited. Me and my cousins, we were waiting there for around two hours. Because it's the standing area, so... You know, you have to be there early so that when you go inside the venue, you're, you're in a great spot. So we waited for two hours and it didn't feel like two hours because all the excitement was rushing in. All the happiness, all the joy. And then we got in at around 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. We were there at around 6 p.m. And that time, it, it was very, very crowded. There was so much uh, youth, there were so much people, especially in that small area. And when the concert started, we were around in the middle. There were suddenly people who started to, you know, elbow some people just to get forward. And there were some other people uh, raising their hands, and, and we couldn't see at the back. And you know, it came to me that life goes like this also. Wherein you get your dreams, you get where you want to be, and then suddenly there's so much weeds, there's so much thorns on the side, trying to make you feel like you don't deserve it, trying to make you feel like, hindi, napilitan ka lang naman dyan eh. Hindi naman talaga yun para sa'yo, chamba lang yan. And there's so much, not only people, but events and circumstances that may hinder you from really absorbing the importance of the event. But during that time, I failed to realize that I was still there. God still molded me so that I could be there in the most perfect time, so that in that most perfect time, I'd be able to get my dream. It made me forget about all the thorns and all the weed. All the, just like in life, all the problems, all the struggles, you know, when you get there, it's not because of you. It's because God wanted you to be there. It's because God molded you so that you could be worthy of your dream. It's because God wanted you there. So now if there's anyone here who is doubting themselves and if they already have their dream, God is telling you, God is telling us that you're in the right place. That you're in the right moment. You're in the right event. You're in the right moment right now because you deserve it. You've been praying all your life. No amount of thorns or weed or problems or struggles can ever take away the love and your worthiness because you are here for a reason and that reason is so that you can worship and praise God even more. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So if you're praying for a dream, don't stop. Never stop. Because your dream is coming. Your dream is coming in your most perfect, in God's most perfect time and will. So now, brothers and sisters, 
as we come into worship and as we realize all these blessings, let's come to the Father as we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we have nothing to say. You are awesome. You are great. You are powerful. You are almighty. And Lord, now we just want to surrender everything to you because Lord, you are not just the Lord of the people who are praying. You are the Lord of the people who already received their dream. You are also the Lord of the people still wanting their dream and still praying. Lord, you are the Lord of all. And alam namin na wala kang pinipili. Wala kang pinipili sa amin, walang special sa amin. Alam namin na pantay-pantay lang kami. Because we know that in your kingdom, we are all your children. And now we come back to you, Lord. Fill us with your love and your embrace. Brothers and sisters, as we sing this song, just surrender, surrender everything to our God who deserves everything. Speak to Him as we sing. You still the oceans at your call. Sing it out. Jesus, you reign, you are Lord of all. Here at your feet, we are on our knees. You are enough, you are all we need. You come our hearts and you give. Sing this out with all your heart. In your name, we are saved, we are healed. In your name, we are free for all our days. We will shout in victory, Jesus, you are Lord of all. Death could have ever, death could have never held you long, for you are risen forevermore. Yes, God, you reign in glory, we stand in awe, Jesus our King, you are Lord.
and faith in you alone, Jesus Christ. And we know that you will bring into completion the good works that you have begun in us, oh God. Our hearts now is full of thanksgiving and gratefulness, oh God, for all the good and the marvelous thing, deeds that you have done to us. Oh Lord Jesus, we thought all the while that we have experienced and have seen everything from you. But it is a great mistake, oh God, Jesus Christ. Because we believe and we know that there is more to come from you, oh God, Jesus Christ. More of your healing, more of your graces, more of your blessings, more of your special favors, oh God. And we are now right here, oh God, ready to receive everything from you again. Lord Jesus, bless all our attention for today. And may this song continue to bring us more closer and closer to you. And to make our lives better and better every day in every way. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
about aching, all of our strength in, all of our future in, the God who never fails, all of our hope in, all of our trust in, all of our future people around you, hug them and tell them there is more to come. Let's pray our favorite prayer together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's goodness. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. Because I am blessed. I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Do you sometimes wake up in the morning already tired? Nararanasan nyo ba yan? Yung pagising mo pa lang, parang pagod ka kagad. Sabi nila kasi grabe daw ang kinain mo kagabi. Oo, tulog ka na, pero yung intestines mo, yung, yung digestive system mo, nagtatrabaho pa. Kasi tinutunaw lahat ng steak na kinain mo. Kaya pagising mo, pagod ka na. Pagod ka pa rin. Or, pwedeng tulog ka, pero nagtatrabaho isip mo. Yung, yung panaginip mo, sumusweldo ka. Yung ganon. No? If you experience waking up in the morning already tired, you need to listen well. 
because Jesus gives you the solution to tiredness in three clear steps. Jesus said in Mark chapter 6, verse 31, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo. Sabi mo, makinig ka kay Lord. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Come with me, sabi ni Lord. Come with me. You know, Jesus could have said, um, you need to rest. Log on to tripadvisor.com. Pwede niya sabihin, o kaya go to Trivago. <laughs> diba? And then, and then have a vacation anywhere you want. He didn't say go, if you've noticed. He said, He said, Come with me. Sama ako. Actually, sama ka sa akin. Kung gusto mo ng tunay na pahinga, sama ka sa akin. Jesus is saying the real solution to stress and tiredness and burnout is a solid relationship with me. Kasama ako dyan. Let me remind you of our official prayer of this series, Burn. I introduced this to you in talk number one. It comes from St. Augustine. Can we pray this prayer? Look at this. Together, go. Our hearts were made for you, O Lord, and they are restless until they rest in you. If you're stressed, if you're overburdened, if you're experiencing burnout, the solution is not just to rest, but to rest in God. Can you tap three people around you? Sabi mo sa kanila, rest in God, rest in God, rest in God. Hindi rest in peace, iba yon. Rest in God. The solution is not just to have a vacation, but to have a vacation with God. And what is a vacation with God? It means you surrender everything to Him. That is a vacation with God. Yung iba nagbabakasyon na, pero ang isip nasa trabaho. Yung iba umalis sa ng bahay, pero ang inisip yung sinampay. So, so hindi ka makapagbakasyon talaga. Vacation with God means I surrender to you, Lord. Everything. I am going to give my best. But if it is time to rest, I rest. I rest. Because unless you surrender yourself, your life to Him, unless you trust Him with your all, you will never have true peace in life. Hindi ho talaga mo makukuha at makakamtan ang tunay na kapayapaan. Hindi mo ito matatanto, maaarok, madadalumat ang tunay. Ya, yeah, lalim ha. Bumbay, pero grabe magtagalog, ano? Oo, hindi mo siya maintindihan, hindi mo siya ma... Di ba, meron ka mga kilalang tao na, grabe problema nito, pero bakit payapa? Bakit? Galing mag-surrender. Tapos ikaw, takantaka ka, bakit siya? Bakit ganun? Ako, ang liit ng problema ko, may pimples ako. Pero mamatay-matay ako. Siya? Mamamatay na. Pero payapa pa rin. Bakit? Grabe ang pagsuko. Unless you surrender your life to God, you will not have true peace. And that is what we desire more than anything in the world. Tunay na kapayapaan. Amen? Put your hands upon your heart. Close your eyes and bow down your head. Lord, we want to rest in you. We will go with you because your invitation is come with me. And so, Lord, we will. We will surrender to you our lives each day. Yes, Lord, we have a version of what we want to happen the whole day. But we will surrender the day because we know your version is better than mine. And so I surrender. Say this prayer to Say this prayer out loud, Jesus, I surrender my life 
to your love. And I believe today I will bring home your miracles in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand. Bless His name. As you sit down, tell people around you, surrender to God. Come with me was the first invitation of Jesus. Second, by yourselves. Real rest requires a right relationship. With whom? First, with the Lord. Second, with yourself. The second important relationship is relationship with oneself. One of your most important relationships is that the Lord is number one. Pero yung susunod, yung relasyon mo sa sarili mo. Why? You are your most important company. You know, when I talk to people who are miserable, alam mo ang lumalabas sa sagot, bakit miserable buhay nila? Isang sa mga sagot na malalim, hindi nila gusto sarili nila. They don't like themselves. Their relationship with themselves is toxic. Sabi nyo nga, toxic. Yun ang relasyon nila sa sarili nila. Toxic. They actually hate themselves. Here's my question to you. Do you like yourself? Talaga? Tingnan nyo nga ang sarili nyo. Sige na, tingnan nyo ang sarili nyo. Tingnan nyo mata nyo. Yung iba talaga sinubukan. <laughs> Nahirapan. Ano? No amount of fortune. No amount of fame. No amount of friends will make you happy if deep down you don't like yourself. You don't like yourself. May mga lalaki dito na busted na kayo. Ako, I don't know that, you know. <laughs> then, nabasted din ako once. Na-imagine nyo yun? Pinasted ako? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Bakit ako binasted? Hindi maganda ang tingin niya sa sarili niya, yung babae. Alam mo, sagot niya, sabi niya, ikaw, Aaron, ano ka? Ako. Ayoko nang sabihin. <laughs> Bakit hindi kayo maniwala? Langit ka. Ako, putik, ganun. <laughs> Imposible, no? Talaga. Y yung, yung, nung nalaman kung ganun ang tingin niya sa sarili niya, hindi daw kami bagay. Alam niyo, ginawa ko? Tanong yung sa akin, ano? No. Iniwan ko na siya. <laughs> oh, hindi ako nagpakita. Bakit? I cannot love a person who does not love herself. Ang labo nun. Alis ako. Bakit? Malabong relasyon to. Hindi niya mahal sarili niya. No amount of fortune, yaman mo. Pero pag hindi mo gusto sarili mo, di ka rin masaya. No amount of fame. Naalala ko yung sumali ng beauty contest. Sabi nung MC, what's the big problem facing the Philippines today? Sabi nung sumali ng beauty queen, uh, drugs. Sabi nung MC, very good. Why do you say that? Sabi niya, eh, ang mahal-mahal kasi. <laughs> no? Adik pala, no? <laughs> ang ganda, pero hindi mahal ang sarili. Kaya ano, basura ang tinatanggap. The most important conversation you will ever have is your conversation with yourself. Remember this. That is why Jesus said, come with me by yourselves. Ibig sabihin, bitbitin mo, sarili mo. Hindi mo bibitbitin ang sarili mo palapit kay Lord kung hindi mo type ang sarili mo. Paano mo magiging type ang sarili mo? Anong sinasabi mo pagkausap mo sarili mo? Sandali, kinakausap niyo ba sarili niyo? Sino rito kinakausap niya sarili niya? Malakas, yung malakas. No? Nakakatakot ng konti yan, di ba? Di ba, pagkatapos ng fees, saan tayo punta? Ikaw. Kain na tayo, sige. 
Saan? Ikaw bahala. Di ba? Nakakatakot yan. No? But you talk to yourself. Most of the time, you converse with yourself. Kaya ang tanong ko, what do you tell yourself? When you are alone, what do you say to yourself? Do you look at the mirror and you say, you are weak, you are poor, you're a big failure, you're terrible? Or do you say, you are chosen, you are anointed, you are equipped, you are blessed, you are loved, you are amazing, you are loved by God? What do you tell yourself most of the time? Bakit? Ay, napakahalaga niyan. Kasi mas kausap mo ang sarili mo kaysa kausap mong ibang tao ang Diyos. I've met some people whose favorite, listen to this, whose favorite preoccupation in life is to criticize themselves. They do it so well, you will think they are getting paid for it. Parang nasusweldohan ka ba? Asarin ang sarili mo. Yung isang tingin mo lang sa salamin, damang-dama mo na ang Halloween. <laughs> Di ba? Pagtingin mo pala, Halloween to, Halloween. My suggestion to you is this, love yourself the way God loves you. Love yourself the way God loves you. So when you look at the mirror, do what God does. Anong ginagawa ng Diyos? God doesn't look at you and look and say what you did wrong. He looks for what you did right. He looks for what you did right. He does not look at your pimples, wrinkles, cellulite, age spots. He looks at your beauty, your greatness, your strength. It is like God. God is like this. Pakinggan nyo to, ha? God is like this. Tatanungin ka niya. At ang tanong niya ganito, Gusto mong malaman kung saan ang pinakamasayang lugar sa buong mundo? Tatanungin ka niya. Siyempre, ikaw naman, saan po? Alam mo, sabi niya, Usog ka. Sabi tayo, yun ang sasabihin ng Diyos. Bakit? Ganyan kanya ka gusto. Because God accepts you. God appreciates you. God celebrates you. That is why when you will look at ourselves, we should look at ourselves the way God looks at us. Pwedeng lumaki ka na, na iba yung magulang mo. Yung magulang mo, inaabangan ka magkamali. Ang Diyos, Hindi ka inaabangan magkamali. God accepts and appreciates you. So, please accept and appreciate yourself and celebrate who you are. Can you tap four people around you and tell them, celebrate who you are, celebrate who you are, celebrate who you are. From now on, do that, please. You know why? Because the devil tells us otherwise. Ang, ang demonyo ganyan. Sasabihin sa'yo, ititempt ka, nakawin mo, nakawin mo yan. Kunin mo, matutuwa ka. Kunin mo. Ikaw naman, kinuha mo. Pag nakaw mo, alam mo, sabi niya, Allah ka, grabe ginawa mo, no? Di na mo, ayaw na ni Lord sa'yo yan. It's the same with all of us here serving at the feast. Bago aakyat dito sa si stage, alam nyo gagawin ng kalaban ng dibonyo? Bubulong-bulungan kami. Naku, huwag ka na magsalita dyan. Huwag ka kumanta. Bakit? Dahil mong ginawang mali. Di ba? Hindi ka nag-prayer time kay Lord na mahal mo ng matagal. Masanood ka ng Netflix. Ang pinanunod mo pa, blacklist. Di ba? Yung mga ganyan. Talaga, black na, pangalam pa lang. The devil will do, don't do that. Bakit? But God is different. Hindi niya hina-highlight yung kasalanan mo. Kaya ako minsan nalulungkot pag kumpisal, may kumpisalan, nakikita mo yung mga nakapila. Tingnan niyo ako ha, yung mga nakapila sa kumpisalan, nakaganyan. Ang lulungkot. Kala mo pag pumasok, kukuryentehin. Yung ganon, takot-takot. Paglabas ng kumpisalan, Parang ganun pa rin ang mukha. Dapat iba na. Ang kumpisalan ay ano, pag nahumpisal ka, hindi yan aanuhin ka ng Diyos na grabe ginawa mo, mali yan. 
Actually, confession is God embracing you again. Why? Because you said, Lord, I need your embrace again. Nung niyakap ka ni Lord, ginanyan mo siya. Pag gumagawa ka ng kasalanan, huwag mo ko yakapin. Pag nagkumpisal ka, magpapayakap ka. That's it. He does not... Uh, actually, he said, I don't even remember what you have done. By yourselves. Please, from now on, like yourself. The devil is a prince of liars. And that is what he will tell you. Grabe ginawa mo natin. Hindi ka na babangon. Wala na. Ginawa mo yan. Sama niyan. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Mas malala yan. Hindi mo. No. By yourselves. Come with me by yourselves. As you are. And then he said, to a quiet place. Can you say, to a quiet place? You know, I believe Jesus was not just talking about a physical place. If you've noticed, we live in a noisy world, but the noise around us is simply a reflection of a noisy heart. Maingay ang puso. And what Jesus wants us to make our own heart a quiet place where we can rest. Scripture tells us, let's get away from the crowds for a while and rest. Jesus said, let's get away from the crowd. Is there a crowd of voices in your heart speaking all at the same time? You know, I believe the loudest voice in many people's heart is the voice of fear. Maingay ho ang voice of fear. Maingay yan. Fear in all its form. Fear of future. Fear of what other people will say. Fear of sickness. Fear of death. And I am sure worry is fear as well. Worry about your kids. Di ba? Kinakabahan ka yung anak ko. Hindi pa dumarating galing school. Ano kaya nangyari sa kanya? Baka na hold up siya. Worry. O kaya wala pa siya. Baka siya ang nang hold up. <laughs> Worry talaga. Takot na takot. Worry is about money. Baka mawala itong pinag-ipunan ko. Baka kung ano na. You are worried about your car parked outside right now. Na baka ito. Kasi hindi ako nagbayad. Di ba? Yung, yung dami. Very noisy. The voice of fear. You know, many people burn out because their heart is overwhelmed with fear. That is why people are burned out, not because they are just busy. Many people burn out because their heart is overwhelmed with fear. Today, Jesus is inviting you to make your heart a quiet place of rest. If you want to get rid of burnout, drive that fear away. And John tells us how perfect love casts out fear. The opposite of fear, my dear friends, is not courage. The opposite of fear is love. Sino sa inyo may mga anak dito, taas mo ang kamay? Parents. Naalala niyo na maliit pa yung anak niyo? Na naginip siya? Anong ginawa niyo? Kaya tumigil, umiyak. Ah, umiiyak na naginip eh. Binuhat niyo ba? At sinabi niyo, anak! Tapangan mo loob mo. Alalahanin mo ang mga bayani. Sinabi niyo ba yun? <laughs> Hindi courage eh. Anong ginawa niyo? Kinalong niyo. Tapos sinabi mo, anak, tahan na, wag nang iiyak. Mahal ka ni mami. Nandito si mami. At ang mga bayani, <laughs> lalong umiyak. <laughs> diba? Anong nagpatanggal ng takot sa kanya? Tapang? No. Love. And that is why Jesus is saying, perfect love casts out fear. My love will do that. That is why he says, come with me by yourself to a quiet place. And that place is not just a place. It is in your heart. I urge you now, silence all voices. Listen only to his voice. And what is God telling you? Listen to him. He will tell you things that will change your life. 
And that is what we are going to do today. We want to pray over you. Gusto ka namin ipagdasal. We're going to spend time now for praying over. Ganito lang ho kasimple. Mamaya, tatayo tayo. Tapos you will see some of our leaders and elders in front here at saka dyan din po sa tower wing. Ang gagawin nyo, if you're ready, you stand up, you line up, you go to one of them, they will pray over you. Kung meron kayong specific concern, ibulong nyo sa kanya. At sabihin nyo doon sa magdadasal sa inyo, pagdasal nyo po ako. A healing of, banggitin mo, hemorrhoids, ganun, no? Kanya-kanya ho yan. <laughs> Malay mo, importante sa iyo. <laughs> Di ba? Uh, financial blessing po. Ganon. Tapos pag nasabi mo na, tikit ka, then listen to God. Let the Lord speak to you. The one who will pray over you will just lay hands on you. Ngayon ito po, pwede hong mangyari ha? Habang nagdadasal ka, maramdaman mo mahuhulog ka? Mahulog ka, may sasalo sa inyo. Sinabi na namin na may catchers tayo. So, huwag matakot. Minsan ganyan, nangyayari yan. Minsan naman wala. Pero ang mahalaga, let the Lord speak to you. Let the Lord use us to channel His love and His grace to you. Tapos, pagtapos ka na magdasalan, just go back to your place. Continue prayer. Praying. Kasi we, we're gonna sing songs of worship here. Tapos kung ikaw ay naghihintay, be quiet. Tapos tanong mo lang, Lord, kausapin mo rin ako, ha? Tapos if you don't feel like being prayed over, it's okay. The, the thing is that where you are, is you just open your heart to God. Yung iba sa inyo, nakaupo pa lang, parang hinawa ka na ni Lord. Okay po yon ha? Wag lang kayong aalis kasi hindi pa tapos. May love offering pa sa huli. Ha? Mahalaga ho yun. <laughs> But, but let's do this in the spirit of prayer and the spirit of love. Fill your heart with the love of God. That's it. If you have a lot of fears, let this praying over fill you and make your heart a quiet place. Just surrender. Just surrender to the Lord. Can I ask the leaders to Position yourselves so that they will know. Yung nandito sa tower, ah, nasa ballroom, apat na linya po tayo, ha? One, two, three, and then four. Yan po. Can we dim the lights now? So we can come to prayer. Dito pa kayo konti kasi ate niyan hanggang dun. Kayong 14, hanggang dun ha. Dapat maluwag kayo. Yan, pwede dito sa gitna. Yan, yan. Dito, dito. Yan, yan. Hanggang dun tayo. The, the, the catchers, you can come also. Hanggang dun, ate niyan, hanggang gitna yan. We can pray over there para tuloy-tuloy tayo. Ha? Worship team, let's come up. Worship team, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place so we can pray. Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Let's come before our God in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. During the prayer session, you can remain standing or you may be seated, but let us worship our God. Close your eyes, bow down your head. Lord, we are here surrendering to yourselves all our fears, troubles, concerns, even our joys, we surrender them all to you. And Lord, I ask that you fill this place with your Holy Spirit, 
like what you did in Pentecost Sunday. Fill us, O God, with your grace. We surrender to you. You are in control. We follow your flow, Holy Spirit. Blow where you will. You are in control. You are in charge, O Lord. We commit ourselves to you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're ready, you can just line up and go to our leaders and let the Lord touch you right now. to surrender to God. God is here. Let them speak to you. Let them whisper to your heart so that you will receive peace.
surrender, Lord. We surrender our lives to you, oh God. Do as you please. Do as you please, oh God. Hallelujah. Holy is your name. Just 
Continue to surrender to you, O Lord. Including my sins, my past, my failures. I am yours, O God. I am yours.
God, you are here. We feel your presence, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Your name. Your name. Still in your presence, in a grace so relentless, I am one. By Drawing close. 
Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Let's all stand and worship the Lord. me to surrender my life to you, O oh God. I am yours. Do as you please. I surrender, Lord. I let go of the things I cannot control, that I have been controlling for the longest time. And today, I let them go to you, to a God who is in control. And now I receive true freedom from you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Us in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, is your name. True freedom, my dear friends, is that you're trying to control something you cannot and should not control. And true freedom is this, giving that life to a God who is in control. And if you have done that today, then you are truly free. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Embrace people around you, hug them and tell them, we are free! Give the Lord a big hand again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated as we prepare for our giving. Can I ask those who are first time here at the feast to just stand up? Is this your first time? Please stand. We'll pray for you. We welcome you. Thank you for being here with us. Remain standing. Let's pray for them. Father, we thank you for our friends 
They are now part of our family. Thank you for bringing them here. Bless also those who brought them. But we ask that you bring them back here every Sunday. So Feast Bellevue will be their family from now on. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for coming. We will welcome you further. Follow the banner that says new attendees. Okay? Next. Next announcement. Nothing? Hindi ka na nagpa-announce. Ako na mag announce How was the pray over? Those who nagpadasal, taas po ang kamay. Ayan. Did you feel the Lord? Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. No? Let's give the Lord a big hand for that. Nakita ko yung iba umiiyak. Ano po yan? That's the gift of tears from the Lord. Sometimes you don't even know why am I crying. Di ba? Ba't ako naiiyak? Di naman ako naiiyak. Pero umiiyak ka. It's a gift God has given you. We don't know what it means. Minsan, it's a cleansing. Minsan, bala, we just allow the Spirit to move in us. Okay? Thank you for that. Um, very important announcements. Next week is our anniversary. Ten years of Feast Alabang. Ha? Alabang. Buong district ng Alabang. Hindi lang ng Bellevue AM. Ito po'y buong distrito, sampung taon. Actually, June pa tayo nagsampung taon, ha? Ngayon lang natin sinelebrate. <laughs> Bakit? Para nakakasalahat ng programa. So, we are celebrating it this August 4, this Sunday. This is what will happen. 8 o'clock is still the Mass. 9 o'clock, we start the worship and the talk. Extended konti because we have a special guest to give the talk. And the worship will be led by our feast builders of Alabang. Lahat ng mga feast builders nandito. Ito lang po, kayo po ay gusto kong dito umaten sa oras na ito. Tapos may kasama kayo mga taga-ibang feast ng district. Ibig sabihin, marami hong taong darating. Kaya pag hindi nyo masyadong kilala, welcome them because they are part of our district. Tapos we're going to open some extensions there. So, I suggest you come early, earlier, mga 4.30, ganyan, 4.29, pwede ho, ha? Para una kayo, nakaupo. Huwag kayo mag-reserve ng seat unless nagpa-park yung asawa nyo. Pero we will be a little bit tight here on the first session, okay? Pero yun po ang gusto natin, na dito na mag-celebrate sama-sama ng lahat. Uh, ito lang ang request ko sa inyo. After, after ng feast ninyo, Dito ho kayo lalabas. Ito lang, paglabas niyo po dyan, kung kaya niyo makalabas ka agad, makauwi, muwi na kayo. Bakit? Yung second session, sila naman magpa-park kung saan kayo nakapark. Tapos silang lahat ay nandito sa baba. Punong-puno ho ito. Second session is filled more than you. So punong-puno yan. Maraming tao ho. Ano lang tayo? Yung transition. Let us be more loving to them. Kasi kayo una. Sila ho ang magkaagulo, di hamak. Kaya makakatulong tayong mabuti kung madalis, mabilis tayong lumabas. Ha? Lalo na yung mga kotse para sila naman po ang makapark. We will try our best to, to end early. Ang start po ng feast second session is not 10.40, it's 11.05. And extend pa namin konti para hindi rin sila masyadong mahirapan sa transition natin because there will be a lot of other feasts. And then we have the second session. And then in the afternoon, it's 2.45, third session. So three sessions po ang feast anniversary this Sunday. I, I encourage you to come at this time already. Sanay na naman po kayo, ha? Tapos ito po yan. Ito yung isang napakahalaga, yung my special love offering, the pink one. I want you to bring this home with you. Anong gagawin nyo? Ito po ay pwede yung regalo kay Lord sa anniversary ng feast alabang. Dito nyo po ilalagay, ha? Iba po ito, iba rito. Ito po ay kung gusto lang ninyo. Tapos mag-usap kayo sa pamilya, how much gift are we gonna give the Lord for the 10 years of feast alabang? What will happen to this pink envelope? Ito po ay ang operational na pambayad ng buong anniversary. Kukunin dito. At ito rin yung aking budget for one year for the district. Dito ko po kukunin. Kaya pag mababaho ito, hindi ko masyado magawa yung gusto namin gawin. Kasi nagdidependin kami talaga sa budget. Ito po ay operational every Sunday. 
ng Bellevue AM. Okay? Ito po ay pang district. Kaya ito po yung ating... Iuwi nyo lang ito, tapos pakibalik next time na may laman. Ha? Pag-usapan ninyo. Ito yung regular natin. Ha? So, continue giving this regularly. But this one is a special gift. You can give this coming Sunday. You can give it today if you want. Or the next, next week. Basta ito po, alam namin. Pag dito namin kinuha yung love gift nyo, love offering nyo, lalagay namin sa district. Ito, Bellevue AM. Para klaro po, ha? But if you only want, okay? So bring this with you. Let's all stand. Lift up your tithe, your offering to the Lord, and just bow down your head. Lord, thank you for blessing us today. And we want to give the blessing back, just a little of it, by giving something to you, O Lord, in return. Receive our offering. Receive our gifts. Thank you, Lord. We're excited for next Sunday because you're going to bless us with our 10 years of celebration. This we pray and claim. In Jesus' name, amen. Come, brothers and sisters, give to God with joy. Stop.